Hi, I'm Amanda Perna from eHow.com, and today I'm going to tell you how to alter a dress that's too long. We all have dresses that we buy, we love it, but it just doesn't fit. So this is an easy way where you can do it at home and you don't have to take it to the dry cleaner and pay a lot of money. The first thing you have to do is measure the dress. You want to put it on with the shoe that you're going to be using and have somebody help you. Because obviously if you're wearing it, you can't measure it yourself, but it's very important that it's measured properly. So that way you have a hem that sits nicely and the dress fits you properly. So you're going to start from the bottom and measure upward. You're going to start from the bottom of the dress, not the floor, and measure up. You want to measure in a few different places, so that way you have an accurate line, an accurate measurement of where it needs to be. Once you have your measurement already figured out, you're going to have your markings on your dress, and then what you're going to do is trace it straight. Chalk. So let's say our measurement is going to be, we need to shorten it five inches. Have your five inch mark, and you're going to make even more marks. You're going to mark all the way around, and then you're just going to trace your lines and tr what's called truing them up to make sure it's all even. Since this is a double layer dress, because it's a, a sheer fabric on top, you're gonna have to do the same thing twice. I know it's a little annoying, but it's very important that you do it as two separate layers instead of just one, so that way it doesn't bubble and ripple at the bottom. So you have your line made, and I'm just gonna give you a quick little demonstration, not do the whole thing and bore you for too long. And you're going to cut. With silky fabrics, you want to be very careful because it's going to slip and slide. So you need to cut very slowly, nice and even. Okay. So we have our piece cut. I'm just going to go ahead and make a rough cut so I can show you how to do it. So. Now the next thing that you have to make sure you do is iron. What we're doing here is called a baby hem. And what it is, is you're essentially going to be folding it and folding it. So that way you have a nice clean hem. There's a million different ways you can hem things, but for chiffon in particular like this is, you want to make sure you do a baby hem. So what you're going to do is measure it a quarter of an inch. You can use your ruler as a guide. Have your quarter of an inch. Take your iron and press it. Make sure you have it on the proper setting. If you're afraid, there's this handy little trick called a pressing cloth. You can use any kind of fabric. You could just put it on top so you can really turn the heat up a little bit and not have to worry about burning yourself. Give it a good press. Okay, you have your crease made. Now you're gonna flip it again. So you want to double check your measurements, make sure it's nice and even because nobody wants a rippling uneven hem. Very good. Now we're going to roll the hem. You're going to measure it out. See it's a little uneven here, you want to make sure it's nice and even so that way your hem doesn't look all crazy. Okay. Take your iron back, do another press. If you're concerned about it coming unironed, you can just stick a pin to help hold it. See, mine's already coming undone. So stick a couple pins. It's best if you do it a little bit at a time rather than trying to do the whole thing because I guarantee you it will all be unironed by the time you get to the end. So do about, I would say about six inches or so is safe. And then just put it back to your iron and back and forth. So then what you're gonna do is put your fabric on your machine. For this, you're gonna want a pretty low stitch length, about a three I think would be good. And you're gonna wanna sew your stitching line a little bit in from the edge, but closer to the edge of the fold 
closer to the edge of a, the fold than to the edge, the bottom edge of the garment because this is what's going to help keep that fold in place. And don't forget to backstitch. It's very important. Okay, because it is chiffon, like I said before, you need to go very slow. It sounds really funny, but quite often you'll hear people who sew saying that they can't even breathe when sewing chiffon because it will move so fast. It's true, it ripples. You need to go super slow. Put your hands at the front and the back to keep it stable. Never right here, because you can seriously hurt yourself. And then just go. Okay, so you have your little stitching. Of course, you're going to want to make sure that your color is the right color that matches your dress, not some random color. And then, once it's all nice and done, you have that very long dress, and you can make it as short as you want, even into a little short dress, little cocktail length. So it doesn't necessarily just have to be for hemming to make sure it fits, but can also be to give an old dress a whole new look by shortening it and making it something brand new. My name is Amanda Perna. Thanks for watching.